Alrighty, welcome back. This is more old-fashioned, old-school fantasy empires on my mission to beat every single guy in the game. Uh, this next one's going to be a nice quick one, and I'll tell you why. So I already beat all these guys. Eol was the last guy I took down in that uh, uh, random world fog of war. And then I'm going to fight Brandeferth today just in a regular battle. Hopefully end it pretty quickly. The reason being is that guy's next. And if you'll look closely, Moloch has the same avatar as me. And I don't like that. So he's got to go down one-on-one. -on -one and uh, we'll do another Fog of War. But maybe we'll do Historical World one-on-one -on -one Fog of War. And hopefully that will be pretty epic. So for today, I'm just going to take out Brandeferth and hopefully do it pretty quickly. Islands, no islands, no islands. And okay. Uh, 48 word three. Essentially. Okay. I really have been enjoying this five to one detail level. One to one's great if the game doesn't slow down on it on you because of it. And 20 to 1 is just too much. It makes the regular units versus like a, a hero unit, for example, it's just, it doesn't work out nicely. All right, um, I'm gonna send these guys off on quests. Yeah, I only gained one level last time, yippee. But it was a pretty quick battle, or pretty quick campaign, I should say. So I shouldn't complain. So I can get elves, which is nice. But fighters to start to expand the empire. And before I end my turn, let's see if we can find this guy. Oh, that was pretty quick. That's reasonably close to where Ewell was last time. Remember, he was here. This guy's up there. So he's a good distance away, but not too far away. I really don't need to worry about him uh, taking to the seas. This one shouldn't take too, too long. Nobody died yet. That's something. Um... I guess this one gets me where I'm heading faster. So let's do that. Uh, assuming my magic user doesn't die, I might just stop sending him out. Wait. Just want to make sure I remember where his castle is. That one. What's it called? Clan tire? Clam tire? I don't know. Whatever. That thing. I think I can remember that. Okay. I set these guys to train already? Yes, I did. Great. <coughs> Ring of the fire resistance. That's good. If, uh, you know, if the enemy has a ring of fire resist or has a magic user, the fire resistance will mean less damage from the fireballs. So. All right, let's send him along there. These guys can go, well, not the heroes. There to take over another land. You guys go out and make yourselves be stronger. More fighters. And that's that. Kind of feel bad just have my magic user sit there, but at least he's going to be developing enough of this. But before long, I should be able to animate dead. Maybe I'll be a little bit closer to this guy when that happens. Um, how many do we have? Oops, wrong thing. 33 and 52. That's not enough. You know what? I know what I'm going to do. All you guys go here. And I'll send enough of you guys. Now I will have enough here to go there next turn and make sure I keep it. Uh, in the meantime, let's take, um, sure, why not that one? And keep the fighters coming. Keep that gold coming. And that's it.
think medallion of protection is wait yeah better this place just cloak is fun all right so these guys are all set for the noble quest where they can actually get something potentially useful for me and again man i cannot wait to get a cleric to level nine and maybe show you folks what it's like to actually have a cleric you know do something um which way gets me closer faster that, that, that. one two three and i'm on him versus one two yeah let's go this way with it Excuse me. Got to build my keep over here. Um, you know what? We're going to risk it. I'm not going to train any guys this round because I want to make sure I have enough to build two keeps because I'm taking over two lands this time. So let's just sit tight. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Fingers crossed. Not even close. And I lost a fighter. Man. I'm screwing this up. Guess uh, there goes the quick campaign idea. 50 guys. They'll be gone next turn. Um, I'm going to keep them there just in the extremely off chance they somehow survive that. And let's move the magic user one more further along. just stick with all fighters. I still don't have that much money. It's one of the problems with being chaotic. You get less money when you're chaotic. But everything else is better. No, come on, cleric. Alright. Your magic user is still alive. And that was the whole point. Is to keep your magic user alive. So that you can use him to win other battles. Yeah, those guys did not make it. So these guys will go take over that land. And I'll be able to keep it this time. Pretty soon I'm going to start training some elves too. Just to help when, uh, when I get up on him for some of those battles. Okay, we're good, right? We're good. know what it is about a dwarf with boots of speed it just I get a kick out of that I guess because dwarves are inherently slow so there's something funny to me about a fast dwarf I don't know I guess I'm just super dorky like that decided to expand the empire rather than just go after this guy at lightning speed. It would be great if I could get enough magic to get some animate dead. I can put those guys right up at the front and walk right up at him. But, what are you going to do? <sighs> yeah, we're good. If you're looking in the upper right corner, you'll notice why I'm smiling. Not that you can see me smiling. reason would be, I can animate dead. Wait a second. Yeah, there's really nowhere else for them to, them to go. And I'm going to be able to take over another land anyway, so I'm going to start the supply line going this way. And by casting animate dead here... enough guys to go to another country because the undead troops are stronger than regular fighter troops. So between them, that should be enough to survive. I'm not sending the magic user just because I don't want him to somehow die there. Okay, it looks like this guy's still only at three kingdoms. I'm glad that he's not expanding. Makes my life a lot easier. Okay. I still don't quite have enough money to warrant training those elves yet. Excuse me. So I'll stick with the fighters for now. 
All right, I like where we're at. And what did I say? Enough to take the land. Probably not enough to keep going, though. Hmm, 41 undead. See, so I lost 23 fighters and, what, 16 undead? Do I risk it? What else can I do? This is these guys, right? That's my 120. Yeah, all right, let's not risk it. Let's not overdo it. Because the next round, I will be able to take over another land and get that much closer to him. All right. These guys moving too. And I think now I'm ready to start training some elves. I only can afford one, but whatever. I'll take my three fighters that I can also afford. I don't have to build any keeps or anything, right? Okay, I'm good. You guys are getting your rings of fire resistance, but love a lightning rod or a rod of true sight. You know, something that I could use right away. Okay. So that's his keep. I'm going to have to attack one of those things first anyway, so I want to get there. Let's go through Shadow Elf territory to do it. have a decent army before too long. I got scared for a second. I was like, how come there's only 60 fighters? I forgot I uh, trained some elves too. Speaking of which, let's train some more elves. Boy, it's weird not to have like a whole bunch of reports at the beginning of the battle. Okay. Did enough of you survive to keep going? 42 and 15. Man, that's close. I'm not going to risk it, especially because, I mean, what? Then I'm up against him and I can't do anything about it. So let's wait for the reinforcements and let's expand in the process. So we'll take over that land then everybody can meet here. Speaking of which, I guess I'll send the magic user there. Maybe he'll give me another animate dead next turn. That would be nice. These folks go here. Got some elves on the way. And I know I have some more elves training. I'm just going to train some fighters. That way they're all done at the same turn. And I can send a supply line of army guys north when the time comes. All right, I think I'm good. Fire resistance is better, I think, for an elf. Not that he's going to be in a battle anyway. I mean, I don't think it really matters at this point. But whatever, you never know. Did not wind up with enough for another enemy dead. That's too bad, but have a lot of guys here now. Next turn, I'm going to take that country, and I'll be right upon him. So definitely have way more countries than he has, and that's good. Let's get a lot of elves. And one fighter. Alrighty. Somebody bring me something good. Not bad. I need a peek at what he's got going on now, anyway. So 
wanted to do that before I forgot about it. All right. I didn't take over anything, right? I did not. Should I? Yes, I should. I'm going to build another armory here. It's like between orcs and shadow elves. Let's do two orcs, one shadow elf. And we're going to move these guys. No, I'm just going to send the fighters. Don't lose any undead. And then we'll start attacking him shortly after that. Um, in the meantime, well, that's only 20 fighters. I'm not going to bother sending them along. But let's send these guys along. Keep the supply chain moving. 20 elves can make a difference in a battle. 20 fighters, for me anyway, not really. So I'm keeping those 20. Okay. I'm going to save just in case he attacks where I happen to be. We've done a lot. Don't want to lose it. He did not. Okay. Smart man. Elf with an elven cloak, of course. Go bring me something fun, elf. Um, so you guys are all there. That's actually a nice looking army right there already. Um, I think next turn I'll go here and then up to his castle. So once I take his castle, it should be all downhill from there. Uh, keep the rest of these guys moving along. I know I made a big deal about 20 elves. I'm just going to leave them so I don't have to keep moving that group along. This group is now a worthwhile group to send along. And so I'm just going to leave that. Train just a couple more orcs to go with those shadow elves. And I have enough money to make all elf elves down here. Probably don't really need to train anything else down here. I think I'm going to make quick work of this guy up here. Famous last words, right? Before I just jump straight to using Animate Dead, let's use that Rod of True Sight. If he's got a ton of guys here, that's not that many. I'm going to say I could use Death Spell and diminish him instead. Yeah, that's not enough. So I'd rather bolster my army here, and we are going after him big time. This is, for being so early in the campaign, a pretty strong army. We're going to go there, take the castle. Even if he like comes after this, actually, we're going to be protected anyway. Not super well protected, but protected nevertheless. Okay, let's do more Shadow Elves here. You know, I have enough to make another armory. Armory. There we go. And do some Orcs to go with it. All right, we are almost definitely going to have the first battle of the campaign, so let's save and go. Fusion, get them to take themselves out a little bit. And let's see what we got. 
doesn't seem like he actually cast confusion. That was weird. I wonder what that's about. All right, I'm gonna let the computer take over and hopefully not lose my magic user in the process. Got some elves and some more elves. Now he's running away. Why didn't you run away in the first place? That would have been the smart thing. take just losing 20 fighters especially having taken out all that that should get a uh, level for my magic user anyway and if I send this army without adjustments to the castle and they have a decent army there and I wipe them out then I should have veterans and then this campaign will be as quick as I had hoped going to go right after that castle. Um, those guys will sit tight. Because pretty soon that's going to be a worthwhile army. They can come in from the other side. Keep these dudes coming along. I bothered to train all these elves, so I might as well get them on their way. Other than that, I really just need to keep training here. And hold on to my money. I'm gonna save again just because I'm really happy with how things are going so far. And let's take a castle. set up over here so hopefully I don't uh, wipe out his armories. Let's see if confusion actually works this time. Didn't do it again. Let's go survey the damage. And he's on the run, so obviously I'm taking the castle. But I want to see what all happened. Oh, well, got to see some broken walls. Only losing 15 fighters ain't bad. I'm going to take enough of his stuff to turn my guys into veterans, but I really don't think it's going to matter at this point. I mean, he uh, does not likely have much capacity to train anything right now. He's not going to have any castles. Send these guys back out. Daring quests. And I'm probably wasting my time sending these guys, but whatever. It's our time that I'm wasting, not just my time. Okay, so that army should be good enough. Oh, build a keep. There we go. Wow, he took a lot of lands. How did that happen? Um, hmm. Gonna, ooh, I can get elves. Yeah, let's get some elves. Three elves. No, all elves. I'm going to kind of sit tight here for a second. See what happens that way. Because I don't want him coming back after me, and I certainly don't want him taking the castle. Um, you know what? I can leave some guys. No, I don't have anything good to leave behind. All right, we're sitting tight for now. I'm not going to try and overdo how fast we do this campaign. 
didn't even have anybody there. Maybe that's what happened. He spread himself super thin. just in case that guy decides he wants to come back after there had been empty lands of mine. Um, is this army strong enough? Not really. No, that's actually, that's pretty good. So here's what I'm going to do. The orcs, the elves, and the fighters are going to go there. The shadow elves are going to go protect this castle can send these guys here. Um, I'll leave the orcs behind too, just in case. That should be good enough. Okay. Just need a few more dudes here to go with those shadow elves and that's it. I'm good. Right? This should be easy. This is mop-up time. Game is so unrealistic. Orcs and elves working together. Not that I've ever heard of. I guess, except for our current D and D campaign. Some of you watching know what I'm talking about. So you had some fighters, and some elves. Hopefully I can win this. I think I will. Yeah, it's looking good now. Whoops, I went way too far to the side. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, only lost five orcs. Okay, yeah, I think I can win this. Kind of surprised this guy hadn't sent any messages. Plea for mercy, face my wrath, any one of those things. confusion will work this time. I wonder if it's something like elves can't be confused and therefore it doesn't cast it or something. I don't know. Right. I'm willing to risk my magic user to let him do his thing. I've got his castle. He's got very little left. Alrighty. You know, I might have veterans now. That would be kind of cool. One way to end the game. They still didn't send me any messages. Alright. Hey, I'm not here to judge. Okay. What kind of army do I have there? Just enough that I'm willing to give it a shot, because if I can end this this turn, that would be pretty awesome. And I do have veterans, cool. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother training or doing anything else. This will hopefully end it, and if it doesn't, I'll be able to end it next turn anyway. This is the battle that is going to determine what happens. Well, you know, whether it's done this turn or not. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose this. <laughs> May have uh, overstepped a little. Oh, well. You know who will destroy these guys in the next round. Wait, is those heroes? Yep, a hero anyway. Take him out, guys. If I can get the hero, that would make me feel a little better anyway. Nope. Oh, well. Oh, I still have guys alive. Where are they? 
as fast. Okay, and I think I just heard an explosion, which means... Uh, ooh, I took one of his heroes. Cool. Um, might have had his magic user there, too. And he didn't have anybody in that other land, so... Cool, Ring of Regeneration, that's fun. That'll never get used. Oh, what am I doing? He's not coming back. Whatever. Okay. He's only got the one land left. I have some magic, and I'm going to use that magic as Death Spell instead of Animate Dead. Because I'd rather wipe out as many of his guys now as I can rather than have a slightly bigger, better army for when I come in to attack him. This should be the end. Again, hopefully I'm not uh, <laughs> overstating what I am capable of doing. Veteran fighters are pretty strong. Now they're casting Confusion, finally. And we did it. Wow, I didn't lose a single guy. That's crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like I must have had some lucky fireball tosses early in the, on in that battle. Come on, come on. I promised a quick campaign. I would say this is pretty quick. Game over. Oh, I didn't even look at what he had. All right, uh, ring of teleportation. Yeah, why not? Doesn't matter. Game over. I have to do this just on principle alone. And save it just in case it glitches as I go to that final thing. So, you don't need to watch the falling action. You saw me defeat Brandefirth. So that will be the end of this chapter. Hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time when I get to fight against my doppelganger. He's going down. Take it easy.